Alrighty guys. So here's the deal. The other evening, I did something super cool. I was cruising around the old Craigslist, right? You know, like pretty much everyone does. Um, and I found something that I just could not pass up. I thought it would be super cool for the channel. It's super funny. Um, and I, I just overall pretty much like the thing. All right, but anyway, so let's cut to the chase. Are you guys ready to see the new kind of funny car for the channel? Let's go. Alright guys, so here is the deal. This thing is a 1984 Mercedes 300D. It's a five-cylinder inline turbo diesel. All mechanical. The transmissions ran off of vacuum lines. This thing is running an open turbo, a hood stack. Um, it leaks some oil, it leaks some fuel. There's little things I gotta do. But this is a pure fun project car for the channel. I mean, look at the thing. It's crazy looking. I mean, like, this isn't a show car. This isn't a daily driver. It's just one of them fun project cars that I got super cheap. I'm talking like super cheap. But originally the car was silver as you can see under the paint there. It has like the patina look. I'll post a video probably tomorrow of uh, the whole paint situation that we were going to do. Alright, so check this thing out. This is a whole sticker bomb front fender. I'm going to try to get it where uh, I'm not in the way. But you know, you know the headlight, the turn signal right there is broken. The hood's like they took a uh, like a flapper wheel on a grinder and scuffed off the paint and then just let it do its thing. And the, with the rust, hood stack with the tractor flapper, super funny. So there's the fender there. I mean, whoever did that did a smoking job. Now, guys, this is 100% how I bought it. So there's still a couple things that I got to do to change. Um, I already did change the paint. Look forward to that video coming very soon. Um, here is the Sharpie Art mural on the back. Dude, whoever did this, man, this is crazy. Sharpie art with clear coat over it. I mean, I don't know. Where have you ever seen something like that? Mercedes 300D turbo diesel. But I'll show you what the paint looked like before in the video that I'm going to post tomorrow. Sunroof, I don't know if it works or doesn't. I'm scared to open it because then what if I can't get it closed again? And then we got a hole in the roof. It's definitely a huge like I don't I don't want to call it a piece of junk because I mean it is a Mercedes and like these things are like sought after there's like whole groups and forms on these cars online that you know I don't want to get roasted by those guys but I mean the car is rough some kid had it and they did all this crazy stuff to it and it's like I mean you can see it here here it is I seen it on Craigslist super cheap went to look at it the dude agreed to what I wanted to pay boom brought it home in the trailer and here it is we're gonna have so much fun with this thing it's gonna be unbelievable Let's check out the uh, inside really quick. Um, now, I was going to ask the YouTube channel what we should name this car. I mean, the thing's crazy. It has blue interior, carpet on the dash. I don't even think... I couldn't even begin to think of a name what we could call this sucker. But check this out. It's like it was Destiny. It literally has a label maker tag on it. It says Merle Haggard. I think the car might be named after him. So, I think it's only fair if... That's the car's name. But I don't know. Comment what you guys think below. Bud Light tap handle as the shifter. I mean, who does this? That's crazy. That's just cool. I mean, I don't know. You look inside and it, it fits the car. Um, we are missing some trim there. Um, this is already the 500,000 kilometer badge that Mercedes gives you. So as long as you keep going and report this to Mercedes, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. They will send you these badges. Um, right now it's at 331,000 miles. I don't know what that converts to in kilometers. Fires right up. I mean, it was warm. I just drove it here. 
Look at that flapper, man. This thing is so cool. I can't even believe it. Look, look at these people here. They're going to be like, what the heck is this? Let's hit it. All right, guys, we made it back to the garage. Um, there's the car. 1984 Mercedes 300 D-Turbo Diesel, five-cylinder inline. This is going to be the funnest project vehicle for the channel ever. I mean, look at the thing. It's crazy. I, I absolutely love it. Let me know your thoughts on the 300D in the comments. What kind of name do you think? Like I said, there is that um, label maker name on the thing. Merle Haggard. It's named after him, possibly. So... It probably is only fair for the name to remain with the car. I don't know. What do you guys think? But all right, guys, get yourself some merch and support the channel so we can do some sweet, fun, dumb things with the Craigslist Mercedes. Hit that subscribe button and join the Modern Diesel family. Follow me on Instagram at Modern Diesel Corey to see some sweet pictures of the awesome Team Low and Slow Craigslist Mercedes. But all right, guys, that's it. I'm just going to finish up a couple things here in the garage. Stay tuned for some more awesome videos on the Craigslist Mercedes coming so soon. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace! I almost forgot, you guys gotta take a peek under the hood of this street beast. Um, open turbo. We got orange hood stack, new battery from Napa. Uh, we're running an open crankcase vent. Um, it looks like, check out that mechanical fuel pump, looks pretty sweet. Five cylinder inline turbo diesel. I mean, under the hood, for what the car looks like outside, under the hood looks, you know, fairly legit. I mean, obviously it's a 1984. There's going to be some leaks, and I guess that's a thing for these cars to always leak oil. I don't know if it's a front main seal, rear main seal. Um, I have a new valve cover gasket coming soon, so when I do the valve adjustment, I'm going to replace the valve cover gasket. Um, that's your oil filter housing back there. It has already some modifications, like that's the ALDA. The uh, I don't even know what that is, but it's deleted. Normally goes right there. Um, this here is your EGR system. Back in 1984, they were even running EGRs to destroy these diesels. Um, so it comes off the exhaust manifold, goes right up into the intake manifold. It's kind of weird because the, the exhaust manifold and the intake manifold alternate holes. So one hole will be exhaust, and then the next hole will be intake, right next to each other. Non-intercooled. So maybe in the future, we might see a custom intercooler kit. I don't know. But yeah, guys, this is it. It's a little, literally like a tractor motor. Pretty cool. Pretty interesting. See what we can do with it, you know? Have some fun. Make some content.